standardizing the science of PEMF using the models MCP48 and model B5 from Micropulse. The model MCP48 is the first standardized scientific instrument for studying PEMF with small laboratory animals. It's reliable, repeatable, and has significant biological effects specifically in areas involving inflammatory response. It is based upon my original NASA research done in the late 1990s, but it's been developed and refined for the past 20 years. The technology at the core of this system is also available as a portable system, the Model B5, for use with large animals, pets, and in approved human clinical research. The model MCP48 is specifically designed for use with small animal cages in a laboratory setting. It fits standard mouse cages both in the bench mount and in the rack mount configuration as well as cages for singly housed rats. The animals are always free to move inside their cages untethered. In fact, nothing has to go inside the cages. The system is reliable and repeatable and it's available as single units or in large quantities. The power supply is a single USB cable. The PEMF field is fully characterized. The design of the system is open architecture. It's not proprietary, so everything that you discover can be published. It has internal protections for voltage and temperature, and you can visit our web page for pricing. The MCP48 ISIS system has many research applications that I've listed here. I will not read all of these applications, but you can download them in the format of a PDF document. These are just some of the applications, many of which are currently being studied in laboratories around the world. The biological effects are so broad and the research topics are so wide-ranging because at its core this technology has been shown since the earliest studies at NASA to have significant impacts on gene expression. Using more advanced systems over the past 20 years we've been able to demonstrate that there are repeatable and reliable significant reductions in inflammation using standard models accepted industry-wide. During the development of ISIS technology, we have primarily focused on the large-scale clinical effects of ISIS technology. However, in many of the studies, we have also included some amount of molecular signaling. We've found, over a range of studies, that certain large classes of molecules and signals are modulated by use of the ICES waveform. We found this in multiple privately funded studies, and we always detect significant changes when ISIS technology is applied to living systems, but the underlying molecular mechanisms of this modulation remains open to detailed investigation. Elucidation of the biophysics of ISIS may reveal entirely new classes of receptors, this is a new frontier in biomolecular research. The theory of operation of ISIS is pretty straightforward and it's based upon classical electromagnetic theory. By applying a time varying magnetic flux density across cells and tissues, we know that we can calculate directly what the induced electromagnetic fields are. The hypothesis is that these induced electromagnetic fields cause ions to flow along membranes, the membranes themselves acting as non-conductive barriers. Our hypothesis is that cells respond to signals from paramembrane ion charge flux receptors and that these receptors are not yet discovered. While we continue to study the molecular and biophysical mechanisms of ISIS, the large-scale clinical effects are clear enough. This is indicated in this series of CT scans of a rabbit ulna that had a critical defect. The animals had been stimulated using ISIS directly over the critical defect for four weeks. When ISIS was applied, you see the top row of results. After four weeks, 
two of the five defects had closed and three were well on the way to closure. When the ISIS signal was reduced in intensity, we would still see two of the critical defects beginning to close with one showing no sign of closure. The bottom row of data shows the negative control or sham in which no ISIS was used. All except for one of the critical defects remained unclosed. It's important to keep in mind that in research models, surgically induced critical defects are defects that are large enough that they are never supposed to heal. So it is reasonable to conclude that if you have an intervention that causes healing, that your intervention has done something over and above the normal healing response. By choosing the Micropulse MCP48, you'll enjoy comprehensive technical and scientific support, which is always free of charge. We support the development and modification of these systems specifically to fit your facility and your experimental needs. We do require that these systems be used only in a professional research facilities. These are not intended for home use. And any experiments must be approved by an animal use committee. However, we provide support for the development of animal use protocols and addenda. Exactly the same core technology is available in the model B5, which is an entirely portable model that can be used for ambulatory research. This is for large animals, large pets, and humans in IRB approved studies. The model B5 uses the identical circuit board that's available in the MCP48, and this allows direct comparison of results from the laboratory to the clinic. Because it uses identical core technology, the Model B5 can be used in a wide range of research applications, including chronic pain and severe orthopedic injury, chronic inflammation, concussion and traumatic brain injury ranging from mild to severe, peripheral neuropathy and diabetic ulcers, non-healing wounds, and many other diseases and injuries involving inflammation. In a veterinarian-initiated clinical study, we were able to show the effect of ISIS on feline kidney disease. Renal failure is the number one cause of death in older cats. There was a comprehensive set of test data for this particular cat, which was about 10 years old. On the vertical axis is a creatinine lab test result, and on the horizontal axis are dates. So this spans a time from January 2015 to September 2016. Initially, the creatinine level was extremely high, and with use of ISIS over a several month period, the level dropped from very high back into the good range. The owner of the cat discontinued use of ISIS from May 15th until November of 2015, and the level of creatinine began to creep back to a dangerously high level. But before that happened, the veterinarian advised the cat owner to resume use of ISIS. With the resumption of the use of ISIS starting in December of 2015, the cat's creatinine level returned into the good range and continues to drop to better and better values. This is how this study was done. We've specifically designed a 2x2 coil array that can be used with small animals. It's very simple to use. You simply place the coil under the bedding as the animal sleeps. While the animal sleeps, you continue to stimulate with Isis at low to medium power Following on from our original studies using rabbits in which ISIS was shown to close critical gap defects in rabbit ulnas with surgically induced gaps, it's possible to use the model B5 for larger animals such as horses, large dogs, pigs, sheep, and humans. In a recent clinical study using ISIS technology, 
we study the effect of applying ISIS stimulation to the human head for two hours per day. This was done in people who had mild to severe traumatic brain injury. In the upper left, you can see that pre-treatment, this person had a number of functional deficits that are indicated by the brown and red bars. After five months of treatment, these very same functions had returned almost entirely to 100% normal levels. In the lower left series of graphs, a person with severe dysfunction due to severe TBI was shown pre-treatment to have almost none of the normal uh, functional capability of a human brain. Within one month of treatment, this very same person had recovered almost entirely to normal function. On the right, you can see summary data for all the people involved in the study. Pre-treatment, on average, there was about 30% function. After treatment of one to two months in general, the subjects had recovered up to 80% or more of normal brain function. You can access the full data set from this cortical metrics and micropulse traumatic brain injury pilot study in the PDF version of this presentation or from our webpage. Thank you for taking the time to review the scientific instruments available from Micropulse to enable the controlled and standardized scientific study of PEMF. If you have technical or scientific questions, please contact me directly at the following email address.